Hey guys, I do my soap here, and today I want to talk about the iPhone 8 and what's rumored to be the next generation of iPhone. In this video, uh, my intention is to educate you guys into not getting tricked into buying fake uh, Apple products or fake clones. Right now, you see what's rumored to be the iPhone 8 in the picture of this box. In the back, you see letters and the gigabyte storage space. They are very similar to what you find on an iPhone 7, but a few things give it away right away the color of the font the color of the box you also have the offset text here not looking very crisp just like it would on a real iphone you see here it isn't as sharp now what of course what would be the number one teller that this isn't an apple product well there's a few things and in this video i want to show you guys what those are now the rumored iphone 8 is set to be coming in a mirror finish very similar to what we saw with the ipod touches and the classic iPods. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this device and show you what comes inside. First things first, look at the packaging, how it breaks right there when you pull it. Apple products don't open this way. They open nicely. They open very sleek and very smooth and you don't have to tear through them just like that. So that's a sign of a fake uh, product. Just so you guys are aware, look how hard it is to even take the plastic off. The device so let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at the product itself well wow, they did a pretty good job making it look uh designed by apple in california kind of funny and whoa there it is that's the number one thing that will tell you this is a fake by the way is there any apple stickers in here nope there's also a sim extractor huh comes with that so let's go ahead and take the device number one thing look at this Apple will never package anything this way. But it is the mirror finish. Let's go ahead and unravel this. Take it out of the box here. Take the plastic off. Look at that. Wow. So, I mean, it actually looks pretty good. And it can easily be faked. I mean, if this is the actual iPhone 8, someone that really doesn't know what an iPhone uh, looks like, they're new to Apple. Uh, of course, us, the people that watch me on this channel, for the most part, will know that Apple won't probably do anything like this with the iphone 8 but some people could be fooled let's go ahead and power this device up and see what's under the hood i believe it's android 6.0 with a theme of course that's going to make it look like ios in order to trick people or to make it look more like the iphone so i got the iphone 7 here i want to compare it to the dummy or the clone version here in terms of height uh, they're identical the buttons align the sim tray everything aligns the camera also aligns so they went off the iphone 7 schematics i guess and then just kind of went off the design that's rumored to be for the iphone 7 with the dual camera and of course add in the mirrored back also adds that really uh, iphone 8 kind of uh, hopes for those who buy this look at the screen right away those black lines on the top there wow the lock screen actually worked let's go see that again see that again let me get a closer look here so you guys can see. So if I swipe over to the right, I get the camera. To the left, I get the widgets, very similar to iOS. Let me bring the iPhone 7 here software-wise and show you what's happening here. So I have the iOS 11 wallpaper, but this is iOS 10. So if I swipe over, you can see that on the iPhone, you start seeing the camera, the controls, and all that. On this device, you don't see any of that. So that's a sign that this is a fake. On the other side, you see here, how nicely put together the widgets are and how you can edit them and add more with this button on the bottom. That's also a sign of uh, Apple's uh, software. You can see here if I drag down on the uh, spotlight search here, it brings up the keyboard. Over here, it doesn't. So let's go to the home screen. No home button, so you have to press right here. I love this the lock sound. It's kind of weird. It doesn't even sound like the real one. So you have to press here. You get some haptic feedback and then you go into the device. Let's see the notification center. Well, that's iOS 10. That's also iOS 10 control center. Let's go into settings here and see what version of iOS this is running. General about, they actually did a pretty good job with the software settings here. Uh, right, oh, iOS 11.0.1. That's not even out yet. That's so funny. So iOS 11.0.1. .1. So let's take a look at the software here, both these devices side by side. Take a look at the software, guys, so you see the real iPhone. Look how they spell the airplane mode. Is it just me? <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Anyway, look at the rest of the stuff. Let's ignore that airplane mode uh, typo there. I mean, Jesus. 
look at the iCloud city. Even the iCloud, oh God, guys, if you see the keyboard that looks like this on stock iOS, <laughs> you know it isn't iOS. I wonder what the App Store looks like. Let's go to the App Store here. Both App Stores loading up. Oh, I'm on airplane mode. Let's go ahead and deactivate that. Oh, you get taken to the Google Store, to the Google Play Store. So, of course, I believe it's running iOS or Android 6.0. And let's take a look at the camera because we have the dual camera setup, of course, and we're going to go ahead and do the portrait mode, which isn't here. So we don't have no portrait mode. We have dual camera. So that means one of these cameras is a fake. So which one it is, I believe it would be the one on the top. We'll find out here. So we'll cover the one on the bottom. Okay, so we know that the one on the bottom is a fake because we cover the one on the top. Yeah, so the one at the bottom doesn't even work. It's a fake camera. So that's another way you can tell it's a fake iPhone. And uh, of course the software, the, the black lines on the top of the screen and below. And uh, it says it's running iOS 11, but here's iOS 11. Here's iOS 11's control center. Here's iOS 11.0.1 uh, according to them. And look at the difference in control center. Of course, that is absolutely wrong. So we see here on the left, the widgets and the widgets here, let's compare it to iOS 10, iPhone 7. Wow, so it's just night and day, kind of glitching out there on the icon. So there you guys have it. I just wanted to show you this so-called iPhone 8. Don't get fooled. It looks nice for the untrained eye and it could fool some people that don't know much about Apple products, honestly, people who don't know might buy this thinking they really have an iPhone 8. But in reality, those are some of the tips and things you can look for uh, when you go to buy the iPhone. Don't ever buy an iPhone off the street. I really don't recommend that, especially with iCloud and all the stuff you have to pay attention to, especially uh, now that they're making so many of these fake clones. I highly recommend you just save a little money if you don't have it at the time and then get it later but get it from apple it is the best thing to do so there you guys have it this was a quick look at the fake iphone 8 or what's rumored to be the iphone 8 with the mirror back finish which by the way it looks good it does but unfortunately is not the real deal let's see what the iphone 8 really looks like we'll compare this once it gets released i hope you guys enjoy the video and i will catch you guys real soon peace